When people travel to Thailand, the thing that they want to do is to see an elephant, to ride an elephant, to feed an elephant. What a lot of people don't realize is the abuse that builds up to allowing that elephant to allow you to mount its back and to ride it. Many female elephants, when they give birth, they will actually kill their calves. And I feel that that is because they know what kind of life that baby is gonna have and they don't want the baby to go through it. So they would rather just kill it as soon as it's born. It's a chain of cruelty that we have to stop right now. And the people who can stop it are the tourists coming to Thailand. They are the ones with the power. I am Catherine Connor, the founder of Bunlok's Elephant Sanctuary Bless in Sukhothai, Thailand. Here, our number one priority is the elephant's welfare. We're not interested in profit. We're not interested in keeping the tourists happy. We just want to make a, a difference to the lives of these abused elephants. The rhythm here is beautiful. It's slow. We work on elephant time. You know, when the elephants want to go, we follow. If they want to stop and graze, we wait. And I think that for a lot of people who come here, it's a whole different world. It's a whole different way of looking and dealing with life. And I think that we change people when they come here. Here we have Pang Noi and Pang Suai. And behind you, you have Wasana, Lotus and Pang Dao. And they are collectively known as the Gossip Girls because they are non-stop trumpeting, roaring, squeaking, purring. You see, normally the cameras are all on them. <laughs> They're wondering when it's gonna be their turn. I have always had a passion for animals. And when I came to Thailand, I knew I wanted to see elephants. I began to volunteer at an elephant center in North Thailand. And I met a baby elephant called Bunlot, which is Thai for survivor. That baby elephant reached out and touched me. He changed my life forever. If he hadn't have died, I'm not sure I would have created Bless because I would have just all my attention and all my focus and all my funds would have been going on to him. Elephants in Thailand, they were always held in very high regard. They were used for logging. Um, and in 1989, Thailand banned that. And so what happened was thousands of elephants and their owners were unemployed. So what do they do? They're not gonna give up their elephant. They need to provide for their family. That is when elephant tourism was born. Elephants are forced to perform tricks and the training that goes on to achieve that is diabolical. They're put through a breaking process. The baby elephant is stabbed repeatedly and beaten repeatedly until the spirit is broken. What it then becomes is a machine for the tourist trade. This is Boon Tong. We found her in a tourist camp in Pattaya giving trekking rides. So that means she had that big heavy chair on her back. As a result of years of doing that, she has a broken back. This is Wasana. She stood on a landmine when she was illegally logging on one of the Thai borders. Despite the fact that she is missing parts of her front foot, she was still sold into the tourist trade and forced to give rides. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think any of us are cruel. And I think most of the cruelty that goes on with elephants in Thailand is lack of education. I think most of these elephant owners don't know the damage that they're doing to their elephant's spine and joints. If they knew, I would hope that they would stop. At Bless, we have three guest houses that sleep two people each. We charge people to stay here. We have no program, no schedule. We never encourage our guests to approach the elephant encroach on their space. Our vision is to rescue the abused elephants, to recuperate them, 
to teach them how to be elephants again and then to release them onto protected land where they can live as wild elephants again. One of the biggest things for me, the thing that amazes me about them the most, is their ability to forgive. You know, these elephants, all of them have been abused by us, by humans. And yet, here they are, comfortable, accepting us, allowing us into their space, allowing us to walk along beside them. I just find that incredible.